Hi everybody, I'm Chris Brinkley with the Coach Jason Simpson Show. We're at Snappy Tomato Pizza. Coach, coming back from that long trip at southeastern Louisiana, got down in the first half, battled in the second half, just not enough late. For well, you. we did, and, and, and there's some positives you can take away from that game. Uh, we, our defense didn't give up a touchdown in the second half, or, you know, or field goal, so you know that was positive. Our offense actually came to life in the second half and made some plays, and some big plays down the field. Uh, you know, so you take those positives and you go into this week. But you know, it goes back when you evaluate where you are. The you know, defensively we didn't stop the run in the first half. Uh, offensively we didn't take care of the football, and and uh, that's what the game came down to. So uh, learn from that, take the long ride back, and uh, regroup and get some rest, and go back to work today. We're gonna watch the game film. A lot of positives from this game, but coach turnover certainly hurt us on offense. Uh, you, you can't, you know, you four four interceptions and a uh, and a uh, fumble. Yeah. I mean, it just just can't happen. And then three three penalties on special team so the things we don't want to do we're doing right now and I've got to be patient with these young guys because uh, you know they're gonna make these mistakes and 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 it's gonna make me gray-headed but they're gonna get better I know they're gonna get better I see it every day in practice and so um, you know it, it may be this week it may be next week but I, I really believe we're gonna get better okay coach Jason Simpson is gonna pull a John Madden on us and get the telestrator out let's watch <laughs> the game film Tennessee Martin at southeastern Louisiana Skyhawks taking on Southeastern Louisiana's Lions. We're at Strawberry Field. Chris Brinkley with Coach Jason Simpson. Coach, a nice facility there. It really was. I mean, that's all we need to get is a press box like that. I think we can really make our stadium a nice place. Nice little inside zone. They blocked it the wrong way. We make the play in the backfield. Now, this is pretty disappointing here. I mean, you know, you see us miss five, six, seven, almost eight tackles there, and that's you know, you, you can't do that and beat good teams, and I was really disappointed in our defensive effort uh, on that particular run. And Zeke Jones with the run as the Southeastern Louisiana team takes a 7 nothing lead. Skyhawks with the football here. You know, against that defense, a four and five yard run was going to be, you know, a nice play. And here, the receiver actually busts, run, runs the wrong route, but Derek does a nice job and finds him on the corner route. And then, you know, you think Shiver's going to go in here and score, and I guess he, you know, pulled a hamstring or whatever, but <laughs> then it kind of falls down. Derek Carr again. You know, but you'll kind of you'll, you'll you'll see this was kind of nice. The play before this actually, when we missed the corner route for a touchdown with a, with a wide receiver running wide open. You know, so Derek just was a little off on some of his throws. And then we come back here and we've got Mo on the little bender route here against man coverage, and it, you know that's just a play he's got to make for us. Got to make that throw and catch. Another big defensive stop here for the Lions. You know, on the fourth down we go forward a little bit too long for field goal range, and we didn't handle the twist very well. You know, inside zone, we're able to stack it up a little bit. And spots, I thought we played, you know, we played well on defense. Here's their sophomore quarterback. Good here. We've got to get everybody covered, getting the quarterback flushed out of the pocket and, and getting to the ball, and that's that's what we want to do on defense. Here's a little package here. You'll see with Julius McNair, quarterback. We bring him two little up backs to block for him. It's not block uh, exceptionally well, but Julius is a pretty solid runner and run a little draw scheme there, and he turns it into a nice six, seven, eight yard uh, run. And then the punt, here's Joe Hook. You know, Joe's done a great job, you know, for us, and he really can change the field position. And, uh, you know, gets him inside the 10-yard uh, line there, and well, actually rolls in the end zone. We've got to be get behind that ball and stop it. You know, and this was disappointing here. They're just running inside zone, and, and we're not, you know, we've got two guys in the same gap. The linebacker, you know, is out of his gap, and the end's not squeezing, and, you know, the safety's not fitting well, and, you know, and that's just, that's unacceptable, and that's not good defense. and. If we don't get that fixed, uh, you know, we're going to continue to be behind on defense. That's fairly with a 33-yard pickup. Nice coverage there by Kendall Harper. See it one more time. You know, uh, I was looking for a flag on the road, but luckily we didn't, we didn't get one. You know, get a little pressure there and then kick the field goal and they miss it. And, you know, so we're still only down 7-0. Scott Hawks back with the football here. Run a little reverse off the motion to the freshman Kevin Barfield. And, you know, he's just so fast, he pretty much can outrun most angles and, you know, makes it into a 12, 13 yard game. Pretty solid hit, but I don't think he went down on the initial hit. Yeah, he's so little, doesn't take a whole lot. This was a nice little third down conversion here, running a little pick play, and, and Derek does a nice job on, on the, on the uh, in-out read with the curl behind it here. You know, these are the throws that, that are big time here for him, getting some experience there, and he, he takes the out, 
And Shiver gets it up the boundary there, and that's a good uh, third down conversion. 18 yard pickup for the Skyhawks. 7 0 still the score at the end of the first quarter. Well, you know, this is very unfortunate here, and I'll show you what happened. We're running the uh, what we call X peel, so we've got a post here by the, the the number one receiver. Our fullback is in the flat, and he wheels up, and our tailback is in the flat off the play action fake. Well, we're keeping this backside tight in in protection. Well, Derek never checks the backside safety, and and you'll see what he's what he's looking at here. He thinks he's got the post here. He never does check the backside safety, and throws it right to him on the pick and like I said I don't think he'll ever make that throw again but he did and, and, and it was unfortunate. A couple of punts and back with the play here. You know we just didn't get enough pressure with a four-man rush but it's good to see Ray Teamer there with nice arm over action and, and got the sack and uh, it's good to see him uh, making some plays. You know very you know this one of those days to where the quarterback drops the ball picks it up we're playing a little uh, catch man technique here with a free safety in the middle of the field with outside leverage on the man coverage he drops it, he picks it up, we get a hand on the ball, he tips and goes right to him, and we're able to convert to third down. That's about as unlucky as you can get on several different uh, angles. You know, just like I said, unacceptable there, in, uh, you know, just a little inside zone seal, and we're not tackling very well, and, and uh, you know, Kendall Harper there, number seven, we've got to get him playing better and more consistent, especially in his tackling. Southeastern Louisiana takes a 14-0 lead. You know, Jason McNair kind of making something out of nothing here, and you know, you know, Jason had over 100 yards for, on the night, and it was good to see a, a long run. There's old Jarvis Perry down the field blocking, and Shiver and Kenny Jones. You know, but we've got to be more consistent with our three and four yard runs as well. McNair gained 67 yards, his biggest uh, of the game here. There. Now, this was pretty disappointing. I, all we had to do was get to the line for the first down, mm -hmm. and we run. You know, we our short yards offense out there. And you, you know, at first, you know, you want to look for that somebody missed their assignment. But as you go through here, we really didn't. They played pretty good defense. You know, maybe the back Jason could have kept his feet going a little bit harder. But you know, you you, you watch the spot and tell me. Looks like to me we're getting too oh, past yeah. the line and look. You know, they they spot it short of the line. That's a fourth and one situation. Southeastern Louisiana back with it. You know, and that's poor tackling once again by you know by us. And that's 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 not been a trademark of ours. And we've got to get it fixed. You know, chasing the ball, missed tackles. Uh, you know that was the you know that that was the the, the, the downfall of the first half for the defense. You know, got pretty fortunate here. Derrick Wells drives on and gets a knockout, a, a knock loose, so save herself uh, another score. Field goal attempt, and they make it, so we're down 17 uh, nothing. And lucky it could have been worse. Still in the second quarter, again the Skyhawks trailing. There's a UT Martin back with the football on this next play. You know, this, that's one there that Derek just totally misread the coverage and, uh, you know, made a bad decision, threw the ball up for grabs, and those are the ones that uh, we can't live with. Now, here was a nice play. We call it, uh, this is uh, pro right 60 H grass sneak, and that tells everybody what to do. pro right's the formation, 60 the protection, H grass is the, is the route for the wide out, sneak is the route for, is, is the, route for the uh, tailback. So you'll see here Derek's reading his, his pull out here to his climb. He takes it on a high angle. You know, we've got to get a little bit skinnier there with our Z on our J route, but uh, nice throw and catch and big completion there before we go in the half. You know, Derek's really standing in the pocket well, making some solid throws. Watch it one more time. We go back to the draw here on third and long, or second long, and Jason pops one for a seven, eight yard gain and gets it to a third down. And I mean, you'll see here though, it's like I said, you can live with these. You know, this is going to happen. Every quarterback has to live with these type of interceptions. We give up some pressure to where he couldn't really step into the throw and throw the ball in the end zone, and uh, we're lucky the returner stepped out of bounds. Halftime score 17 0. Skyhawks had opportunities but did not score, and we moved to the third quarter where UT Martin plays better. Well, we get the ball back, and we know we've got to get something going here. You know, we get a, a, a decent uh, kickoff return from our freshman. He's just not hitting it like we need to. We open up with a little play action, a little boot, throw it there to Chris Thompson in the flat. You know, those are like runs for us. That's an eight-yard clip. Come back with a little inside zone. You know, Jason making some people miss. You know, run a little play action, a little you know, quick throw out there to Chris Thompson. You know, getting a little bit of, uh, you know, you'll see here, this was pretty good by Derek. And, and Kenny Jones is a mismatch for a lot of people. Kenny plays fullback for us and tight end. And we've got stop routes up here, and we've got a shoot route and a slant route here. And we think the blitz is coming, so he's going to work into the boundary. 
and but they instead of going zone blitz, they man blitz him, and the defensive end covers the tight end man. So you know it's uh, they kind of caught him by surprise here, but Kenny's a good enough player to run away from him, and Derek sticks it on him and, and turns it into a big gainer. 42-yard pickup for the Skyhawks. Almost got to the end zone. You know, disappointing. We're at the seven-yard line there, first and goal, and we can't get it in. And you know, you see there, Jarvis Perry's going to get us in trouble there in that C gap. You know, we've got to, you know, we tell our guys, you protect this gap and let the outside get there as long as our operation time is, is good enough. But almost gave up. But good to fight, get on the board and, and, and make a field goal and, and, and give ourselves a little momentum as we try to catch up. 17-3 on the field goal for the Skyhawks. Starting to play a little better defense there, tackling a little bit better. It's fairly with the run. And that would have been nice there if, if they hadn't blown that one dead. Get the ball back, go back to the draw, you know, four or five yard gain. Get it to second, you know, second and medium. Nice play here on the swing route. Well, this would be a 93 free Z ship, and you know, Shiver's pretty savvy out there, and, and Derek's able to find him. All right, we come back here. This is nice. Uh, as you'll see, I mean, these are two freshmen for us, two redshirt freshmen. This is their second game of their college career. You know, they, they try to bring some pressure and and uh, our back actually messes up the protection and Rodney Irvin, the left tackle, has to take two guys. But basically, it's man-to-man -man here. And uh, Derek has got either one he wants, but he's able to come back to the number two receiver. And Chris is a big, strong guy, and he slips the tackle and get his first touchdown of many, hopefully, in the future. Yeah, Chris Thompson had a big day. You know, you'll see our tailbacks have been working over here in the protection. Rodney Irvin, left tackle, takes two. That's a 54-yard touchdown. So you see big plays getting made by young players, but this guy, you know, the consistency of, of uh, you know, knowing it's okay to punt. And then the point after. And it's 17-10, uh, Coach. You certainly got a chance to come back and win this Well, game. I believe everybody on the sideline believed that, you know, we were going to have a chance to pull this game out. And we get the ball back here and reel off a little inside zone for eight-yard run. And we come back uh, next play and throw the ball in the flat for another eight yard pickup. And, you know, really got some momentum going here uh, as we're trying to tie this game up. And we go hard play action on the skinny post and we stick it on him and, and we don't tuck the ball away. And that's very unfortunate. And Daniel Chain was a great kid and, and works, nobody works harder. But, uh, you know, he's got to put that ball away. You'll see that great throw by Derek Carr. And, and, um, you know, that puts us down there at the 35-yard line and, and a lot of momentum, and, and we don't take advantage of it. Southeastern back with the football. Defense still trying to give us a short field, uh, get the ball back. Nice interception here by Jonathan Utley, and good, great concentration, and, you know, once again, gives the ball back to our offense and, uh, you know, a decent field position. You'll see there, I mean, that's a lot of stress on him to have to run with that number three receiver, but Jonathan's one of the faster uh, linebackers in the league, and uh, that's something he's he's very good at is, is the coverage part of it. The ball tipped about three or four times in circus yeah. play for sure. Great job right here. We're trying to get the ball to the fullback out of the backfield, but uh, the coverage is not conducive to it, so Derek actually comes to his number two receiver and, and makes a big play to, 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 to Maurice. You know, and, and this was unfortunate here. This was a big uh, third down call for us and uh, we call this uh, uh, 51 Pirate, and the read is inside out. And you'll see here they're holding on our number three receiver, his first read. So we're trying to get him to the number two read, and there it is, and Derek comes off of it just too fast. You know, but there would have been the first down pickup right there. And he throws it to Kenny in the flat, and it's just out of his reach, and you know, I have to learn from that one. I think this is after we'd already given up the, the, the punt. The fake punt, and you know that, like I said, was pretty unfortunate. And, and this one is, you know, Derek just—I don't know what to say about this. When he's coming out of the pocket, he's trying to throw the ball away. All he's got to do is throw the ball up in the stands once he got out of the tackle box, and and you know he just threw it right to the guy, and it looks like something off of bloopers and practical jokes, but uh, <laughs> you know nobody feels worse than he does. Tommy Connors with the interception. Uh, you know, just trying to make some plays down the field, change field position, and Daniel Chamberlain goes up and gets a vertical route. Uh, third and one here, we just run a little power to get the first down. You know, we're still trying to score here, we're playing for pride, we're playing for maybe onside kick and see if you can get one more on there. Uh, nice little um, um, little end route there to Daniel Chamberlain. Still working it down the field. Find Brian Milligan on the end route. We get up the field, I think we get it to about the three or four, well, almost a two yard line. We try to slip a little zone in there, we don't get it, so this is fourth down and couldn't get inside and, and come up short and, um, you know, pretty disappointing. 
Uh, loss on the road, but uh, got to go back this week. 24-10, the Skyhawks fall at Strawberry Stadium to the Southeastern Louisiana Lions. That's the game film, Tennessee Martin Falls in southeastern Louisiana. Coach, it's going to be so good to be back at Graham Stadium Saturday. <laughs> it really will be. To be able to sleep in our own beds and, and you know, eat in our cafeteria and see our family and friends, uh, it's something that we really needed. Uh, you know, we knew the first two games was long trips, but uh, you know, now we've got five games left at home and the first one's this week. Coach, I think we lost our lights here, but we'll keep on going. <laughs> Again, UT Martin set to take on Eastern Illinois, Coach. It's going to be conference play for us, too. And that's big. And, yeah. and I'm excited it's a conference game because, uh, you know, you can hang your head about being, uh, you know, the losses last, this week, or you can get excited about playing a conference game and winning and being 1-0 and in the top of the conference standings. Uh, so I think it's hitting us at the right time. And uh, maybe not EIU is not who you want to play, but you got to play them all, so you might as well start with them. Coach, the thing about Eastern Illinois, we were talking about this earlier, they've got their stamp all over the NFL. Well, they really do. I mean, you look the, the the Saints with Sean Payton, and then with Mike Shanahan, the Washington Redskins, and and the head coach of the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, you know, they've got great tradition, and that's one of the things that they'll that they're going to lean on this week when they come in here and play us. Because you know, maybe our players are even, but they've got such as far as talent level, but they've got such great tradition in the OVC of winning those playoffs uh, games and winning those conference championships that it means a lot to those kids to not let those past players down and stuff. So we've got to be able to overcome that and pull ourselves up, you know, kind of by our, uh, uh, the, old, like, the old proverbial bootstraps <laughs> and, and be able to match, uh, you know, you know, create some, some tradition of it for ourselves. Okay, we want fans in the stands. Graham Stadium, 6 o'clock kickoff on Saturday night. Coach Jason Simpson will be back with us on the Jason Simpson Show next week. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. I'm Chris Brinkley. So long, everybody.